live once. <laughs> Good morning, BOHS. Today is Friday, January 3rd, 2020. I got a feeling that it's gonna be a wonderful day. The sun in the sky has a smile on his face, and he's shining a salute to the American race. Oh boy, it's well to say. Good morning, USA. Over break, the Colonels basketball team won 90 to 87 in overtime over South Burlington. Charlie Galanis led the Colonels with 24 points. Charlie is the man and is an absolute beast. <laughs> Greg Fitzgerald followed with 20 points. Our own Tyler Miller had 17 points, and Trinley Warren finished with 14. The Colonels will travel to Rutland today to take on the Raiders. Colonel Boys Hockey had three games over the break. After an overtime loss to Hartford 1-2, the Colonels traveled to Union College for a holiday tournament where they beat Lassell 5-3 <laughs> and skated to a tie against Mohawk to play second in the tournament. Now, over to weather with Ernie. Nice. All right, today is Friday, and we have a high of 44 and a low of 33. Tomorrow is Saturday. A high of 38 and a low of 27. We might have some snow or some rain. And Sunday, we have a high of 32 and a low of 20. Back to the desk. Thank you for the weather, Ernie. Much appreciated. The Winter Carnival will be coming back February 15th to February 23rd. Snow sport competitions and live entertainment lure people out of their warm nests to defy the cold and fully enjoy themselves. Outdoor activities like ice fishing, skating, sleigh rides, and a parade float, the, wa the weather and top it off with fireworks. Indoor events are just as exciting with the Queen's Pageant, Junior Olympic events, pancake breakfast, Ooh. karaoke, and a variety show. The Living Memorial Park Ski Hill is about to be ready for business. It's a wonderful little ski hill in our very own Brattleboro at 24 Memorial Park Drive, and it's opening on the 26th. It is open from 4 to 9 p.m. Friday, 10 to 9 p.m. Saturday, and 12 to 4 p.m. Sunday as well as open for lessons 5 to 8 p.m. on Thursdays. A ticket is $5, a $12 ticket punch card is $50, $75 for season pass, and kids under five are free. Because, do they really count? Now over to World News with Forrest. Hey guys, uh, so basically Iran's most powerful military commander, Jen Qasem Salmani, has been killed by a U.S. airstrike. And uh, he was killed at a Baghdad airport along with other Iran-backed militia members. And uh, early on Friday, the uh, strike was ordered by Donald Trump. And that's about all I got for World News. And then back to the desk. Thank you for that, Forrest. Uh, the BUHS Music Department is once again offering the Merry Mulch Christmas Tree Collection mm -hmm. service to Brattleboro residents. This program, in its 29th year, is endorsed by the Vermont Department of Agriculture as well as the New Hampshire Vermont Christmas Tree Association. For a $10 donation, members of the band and chorus will transport undecorated trees from homes to a community garden in West Brattleboro, where they will be chipped into mulch to be used by the gardeners. Since the town does not offer curbside pickup of trees, the service saves residents of the hassle transporting their own trees. Three Saturday pickup dates are being offered, January 4th, 11th, and 18th. All pickups must be prearranged by calling one of the following numbers at least two days prior to your desired date. All right, one of the numbers is 802-257-8589. Another number is 802-254-6757. And the third number is 802-380-3980. <clears throat> the deadline for requesting tree removal is Thursday, January 26th. Proceeds will benefit a music... <laughs> Department trip in New York City in April. <laughs> now over to a special with me and Calvin about ice fishing. <clears throat> All right, folks, this here is Calvin. He's new to the show. He, uh, he actually hurt his nose wrangling a fish off the line. Mm -hmm. Tragic something accident. we're about to talk about right now. So, Calvin, what is the biggest fish you have caught while ice fishing? Um, very recently, actually. 
a uh, perch about this big. Wow, guy, you gotta start Solid somewhere. Four and a half inches. You gotta start real, somewhere. Real nice okay, fish. four and a half inches. Uh, yeah. You know a thing or two. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, what is your best or favorite spot to fish? Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. Oh, you have secret spots. You secret. can't be giving out all your spots on TV. Dude. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, the biggest fish you've caught is a little perch. Huh? <laughs> oh. Yeah, but I have to find a new one. Little is a, it's all right. a figurative. All right. all right, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Another question. What do you do when you're sitting in the cold? Um, we eat a lot. A lot of eating. A lot of eating. That's good. That's um, good. I listen to music. Sometimes I watch YouTube. Country music, I assume. Yeah, mm -hmm. all right. Nice, nice. Well, you know, sometimes we throw in a little, little rap. And oh, wow. Boys. There you yeah. go. Country rap, maybe? Yeah, no. <laughs> okay. Another one. Uh, what is your go-to fishing setup? A uh, little rod. <laughs> 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 I like a, uh, a spoon with a worm on the end. Spoon, huh? Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. There you go, folks. And one more. Uh, do you like tip-ups or jigging better? Um, I like tip-ups because I can just sit there and watch them. What are and I don't have to those? jig. Tip-ups are like a, you drill a hole, and then it's a reel that's attached to a, a flag, and when a fish takes the hook, it trips the flag and right. lets you know it has a fish. It's like Minecraft fishing on the rock. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, I got you. I got you. Back, yeah. mm -hmm. Something like that. Oh, that dude. Well, there you have it, folks. That is uh, all about ice fishing with our very own Calvin Gould. Thank you, Calvin. Yes. Beautiful. Public skate hours for the Brattleboro Skate Rink are as follows. Monday from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Tuesday at 10.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. Wednesday is 10.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. Friday, 10.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. And 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Sa Saturday. And Sundays are 1.30 p.m. to 4 p.m. Hours are subject to change, so make sure to check out their website. Otherwise, you might show up and be alone in an empty parking lot with no one else there. Oh, wow. That's one way to explain it. There is a torchlight parade happening January 19th at Mount Snow. The address is 39 Mount Snow Road in West Dover. You can join them for a descent down the canyon ski trail and torchlight glow. Then, after, you can join them to light up the sky with fireworks. Visit mountsnow.com for more details. Now, let's check out the latest sports results with Tyler. Alright, how's it going, everybody? Um, I got some latest sports results for you, I guess. Um, the last girls hockey game, they had won 3-0. to um, I don't know who that was against, but they got the dub, and that's all that matters. Um, boys, JV and varsity basketball traveled to Rutland today um, for a very anticipated game, I'm assuming. And varsity plays at 7, as always. And girls, JV and varsity basketball play home today against uh, St. Johnsbury, at, and varsity is at 7 o'clock. Boys hockey play tomorrow um, at 8. Uh, and they travel to Woodstock for that game. And that's all I got for sports today. Back to the desk. Thank you, Tyler. Ring in the new year by making sure to work on all your New Year's resolutions. There are many gyms around town, including Outer Limits on Cotton Mill Hill, Supreme Fitness on Putney Road, and Planet Fitness on Putney Road. As well, what is your New, new Year's resolution, Jim? Oh, I don't have a New Year's resolution because uh, if your work ethic is good, then... It's going to be the same as last year, so I'll yeah, take enough, it. Enough, I guess. <laughs> Saquon. Barkley. Shout out. Number 26 of the Giants. One of downtown Brattleboro's most unique stores closed Tuesday as Delectable Mountain Cloth ended 42 years of providing fabric to the town of Brattleboro. Sad day. <laughs> On January 4th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m., head over to Pine Island Community Farm to go and recycle your Christmas tree and have fun at the farm. Enjoy hot chocolate, cookies, and other holiday treats in the barn, or go outside and meet the goats. I love goats. Now to play <laughs> news. <laughs> All right, as some of you know, Christmas just happened. Really? Yes, really. <laughs> in um, so in Georgia, monster. in Georgia, a mother got her uh, her dot her son a uh, pair of AirPods for Christmas. All right. Christmas yeah, day. yeah. He was saying. Yeah. How he was holding one of them in his mouth. And, That's not how and he, he, like, he tripped. He swallowed one of them. <laughs> he, he didn't want to tell his mom 
but it started to hurt a lot, so he ended up going and tell his mom, and they brought him to the hospital. He got an x-ray, and for sure, his AirPod was down there. Really? It, it, it was uh, pretty big compared uh, to Have you else. seen the video of the guy who goes over and takes that kid's AirPod and just drinks it? Yes, yes, I did. Do you think uh, that happened uh, to him, too? <laughs> he had to go get an x-ray for it? Yeah, probably. Maybe. I don't know. At least that All one right. was on purpose, yeah. though. I have a question yeah. for you. Do you think he yeah. got the AirPod back? Well, this is the next part of the story. Oh. He, they were, um, the doctor said that they're just going to leave it in there because it'll make its way out on its own. Good. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. It, uh, he's probably got it back by now. <laughs> Imagine if it was still it's, playing. It's been a little, <laughs> dude, no, no, no. <laughs> this, uh, another part is, his mom was going to bring his phone over to him, but he didn't want it, he didn't want her to because he didn't want it to connect, like Bluetooth. That'd and be then so start playing funny. music while he could be like a human while it in his out of his, no, out of his nose. <laughs> He'd be like a human. Uh, what's it jukebox. called? Jukebox, like a stereo. A jukebox. Yeah. Yeah. A human sure. Jukebox. Uh, That'd be cool. Uh, I wonder if you'd be able to hear it if it's in your stomach. Like if you could like. Maybe feel if you it. cranked up all the volume. <laughs> if you had a song with bass, you could be like. You, you could see your stomach <laughs> just going in and out. Yeah. Or just open your mouth. That'd oh. What if you could make it louder and quieter? Yeah, it's like. Open that. You ever done that a little louder. Oh, oh. <laughs> 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 well, hopefully well, that uh, that poor kid gets his AirPod back. Yeah, I don't think he'll be using or any uh, not, Bluetooth not. headphones anytime soon. Strings. Yeah, fair enough. Strings. He'll be back to the wired. Oh. <laughs> all right. That's all for today. BUHS. Have a great weekend. And that's why the world is like this. <laughs>